In the Federal Trade Commission's antitrust lawsuit accusing Amazon for being anti-competitive is rolling along. However, our next, <clears throat> our next guest argues that the FTC faces an uphill battle when it comes with limiting funding, limited funding and a staff that's spread very thin. Joining us right now is Alex Kantrowitz, big technology founder and a CNBC contributor. And Alex, do you think they just don't have the big guns? I mean, the government's huge. They can have any amount of resources and they can hound you for forever because it's not on their dime. I'm just going to disagree with you off the yeah. bat here. I mean, the government is on track to spend more than $6 trillion this year. Only $430 million of that is going to the FTC. I mean, if you think about how much money Amazon makes, mm -hmm. Amazon makes that in an afternoon. They had more than $6 billion of profit last quarter. So if you think about, like, is it a David and Goliath situation? Yeah, if you look at the U.S. government versus Amazon, maybe, but we're talking about a single agency that's prosecuting this case. And when you think about the agency's budget, which is designated by Congress, it just doesn't come close to the amount of resources that Amazon has. I, I can understand that, maybe not thinking that they're going to be up to the task of legally beating the other side. But when Lena Khan wants to come after you, when the FTC wants to come after you, they can slow it down again and again and again and make it so frustrating and just drag this out for a very long period of time. And that type of thing is what Bill Gates has complained about in the past, why, why he thinks he was forced to take his eye off things and, and lost things, uh, lost some focus at Microsoft when, he, when the DOJ was going after him. Absolutely. They're definitely going to have a lot of time. And time might be on Amazon's side here because as we start spending more time with this case, Amazon can make more and more arguments that the actual foundation of the case is not what the FTC alleges. For instance, the FTC is saying that Amazon has this monopoly in online superstores. Mm -hmm. Well, now we're starting to see Chinese e-commerce apps and websites like Xi'an and Timu come up and give Amazon a real run for its money. Now, they're not in the same ballpark, not even close, but I just saw some new data from Aptopia that says 40% uh, of Amazon users have been on Timu uh, in August. I mean, that's not an insignificant number. And if you think about what it takes to prove monopoly, then you're going to have a much harder case for the FTC. Is it going to be annoying for Amazon? Absolutely. Is it going to be <clears throat> this earth-shattering case that a lot of people expected when Lena Khan came into the FTC in 2021? I don't think that's what's going to happen. You think that she has taken on too many different cases and is trying to go after too many things, and as a result, none of them will be done well? Yes, definitely. I mean, I was speaking with Bill Kovacic, former FTC commissioner, who's a, a frequent guest here, and he called the Meta case a bet the agency case. He called this Amazon case a bet the agency <laughs> case. You know, you simply have too many bet the agency cases. And again, $430 million budget, which is okay. It's a lot of money, but nothing compared to what Amazon has. And when you start spreading that across so many different cases, you take your most experienced lawyers and you put them, some on this case, some on that case, and what are you left with? Kovacic says you got rookies coming up against Amazon. It's just not a recipe for success. So Amazon to this point has basically said we're not going to make any concessions. You think they maintain that posture, that they will say, yeah, fight this to the end? I mean, it depends what the concessions are. right? If, they are, if they're left with a small amount that they have to do to get, get the FTC off the back, I can see them doing that. I mean, they've made concessions in other areas. But I think at the start of this case, they see what's going on, and they know they're in a position of strength, and they're not going to give up their hand at, at this point. Of all the cases that you watch with the FTC right now, which one do you think is their strongest? What, of all the people you've talked to, which one is the one that they think the FTC has the best case with? That's a good question. I mean, I, I think, you know, they're going to struggle against Meta and Amazon for sure, but there are some things that they're doing that are actually having an impact. So, for instance, they brought this complaint against Amazon that makes it that Amazon makes it so difficult to cancel Prime. Uh, and, and, and that seems like small potatoes. That seems that's like the right. dumbest of the things that they've come up against. Well, and I mean, you asked the strongest case. It is the small potatoes things that are actually having an impact. It's actually much easier to cancel Prime now than it was before the complaint. So, unfortunately for the FTC, it's going to be these small wins, and that's what we're used to. And that's Maybe that's what the U.S. government intends. I mean, they're funded by Congress. Congress doesn't want them to be that strong. They're not that strong. we got to run, but very quickly, I mean, Amazon and other companies may be counting down the clock thinking that if there's a change in the election next year that it will mean they can deal with a different administration. And will it be any different? They think they're going to outlast Lena Khan, and they're probably right.